What I'm tying up right now is a Carolina rig. Okay, my Carolina rig consists of, uh, first off, I have, I fish with 65 pound braided main line. I use on, on a day like today, I'm gonna use a, an eight ounce no roll sinker. You can use an egg sinker if you like. I just don't have egg sinkers because I mainly use no rolls. Does the same thing, the weight is designed just to keep your bait down below the boat, the heavier weight. We have a uh, barrel swivel with a about a foot piece of 50 pound monofilament leader and a 10 aught must add demon circle hook. Now I have offset this hook a little bit. They do not come offset, but I have offset it. I know a lot of guys think it's, it's defeating the purpose, but to be honest with you, I've, I've offset them for years and I have never, still to this day, have never gut hooked a catfish because it has been offset. So guys, if you want a better hookup, offset your hooks just slightly. Or pulling, when I'm pulling a drift, I use, like, like I say, I use the short leader and I use a heavy sinker. That gives me control. That, that enables me to put my bait where I want it and keep it where I want it. So it's not, you know, if I have to pull with my trolling motor, the bait is not behind the boat. It stays, because of the heavy weight, it stays right below the boat where I want it. If you're drifting with it and you want to keep control in it, use about a foot, eight inches to a foot, and it keeps that bait. Catfish are not line shy. So they're going to hit, they're not going to pay attention to that sinker. They're going to hit the bait. Alright, to pull a drift like we're doing, a suspended drift, what you want to do is drop your bait straight down to the bottom and let your sinker hit the bottom. Once you hit the bottom, you just want to reel it up four or five cranks and stick it in your, your rod holder. But while I'm on the subject of dropping your bait to, to down to the bottom, I want to show you a little trick I've learned over the years to help me not get tangled. And this rig works perfect if you, if you do it this way. Now when I just drop that straight down, this is what happens. See how it got all twisted up on the fall down? There's a fix for that and I'm going to show you what the, how to do that in a second. Let's get her untwisted. Alright, the trick is to kind of pitch it out. Away from the boat and keep slack, keep keep tensions on it and let that sinker stay ahead of that bait as it hits the bottom. You want to lift up on it a few times just to make sure that the sinker does hit your swivel. And then let it hit the bottom. Reel it back about four cranks. Stick it in your monster rod holder and drift patiently. We're drifting on a ledge here, so we're staying on a ledge. We're doing a controlled drift, staying on the ledge. You got 35 foot up here, 40 foot down here, and we're kind of staying on this ledge as we're drifting down. You can find other ledges throughout the river system, but once you find a ledge, just kind of get on it and stay on it. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna catch a fish. That's the first fish of the day. We pulled up in this thick cover. We fished a ledge with no luck. We pulled up on this heavy cover here, and threw a big head out, and he hit it in no time. But I tell you the key to catching these flathead on, on cut bait 